The following is an important announcement. What are you talking about? For animals, please remember, don't let the humans see how you really walk. <laughs> don't let them hear. Here we go. How you really talk. Ah, uh, moo. You ordered a lot of pizzas. And stop freaking out the pizza guy. <laughs> Dude, I got an arm! Right, yes! This movie is incredible in that it's got great animation, it's got style, heart, everything. Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Barnyard's a, um, a movie that's about this group of animals that have a great time when the farmer goes away. Manabunga! The animals, they have their own life or whatever that we don't, we don't know anything about. It's a great script, it's a great story, and it's very funny. The secret life of animals is revealed in the animated comedy, Barnyard. Start. The idea for the movie originated with Steve Oderkirk, producer of the Oscar-nominated hit, Jimmy Neutron. I was at a friend's house, and their dog was looking at me. But it was something human about the way it was staring at me, and it was a little disconcerting. So I, at one point, got up and, and left, and I just had this image in my head of, second I cross through the door, he's just like, okay, I'm glad that guy's gone. It kind of gets up and, you know, walks over to the cat, and they go back to playing poker or something like that. Barnyard is the story of a cow named Otis, who refuses to grow up and take on adult responsibilities. Otis is a party animal. This is a guy who just loves to be there with his buddies and his friends and just get crazy and, and, and just whoop it up, if you will. Who's here? Moo. It's me. Moo. What's up? Ah, milk me. The story of Otis is very similar to my story, because I was a total just goof-off kid who wanted to do nothing but have fun. Oh, yeah! <laughs> is a big kid, and that's perfect for Kevin, because Kevin is a big kid. Cramp! That's a cramp! Ah! Oh, it's cramping! It's cramping! I had never done it, it was something I wanted to do. And release! It's, it's nice, because you can kind of really get big in scenes and, and, and really be animated, hence the word. Blah, blah, ba -do, blah, blah, ba -dee, da, ba -ba. Yep, you got it! I'm very method cow. I would live amongst the cows. You know, I would graze for like hours before I would come in for like a session here and just kind of get used to it and have someone milk me or try to milk me. All right, boys, here's the dealio. It's a little creation of mine I like to call hill surfing. Otis is joined on his adventures by his best friends, Pip the Mouse, Freddy the Ferret, Pack the Rooster, and Pig the Pig. Are you sure this is safe? It's completely safe. Since when isn't surfing safe? They roll out together and do pranks and have a lot of fun and go crazy together like, like college cows would do. <laughs> In between adventures, Otis welcomes a new member to the Barnyard family. Who is she? They just showed up. Farmer took them in. Well, thank you, Farmer. Daisy's a pregnant cow, a really, really sweet pregnant cow. Excuse me, but I uh, couldn't help notice you over there. Daisy has been through something really hard. There was a big flood that came in, and she lost her husband, and she lost all of her family, and she is on her own. <laughs> well, where do I start? I was married. Life was good. I've known Courtney for a while, and, and Daisy is, is meant to be this very sweet, just lovable character, and I just think that's who Courtney really is. Which is interesting, because I'm kind of a sarcastic person, and uh, this was just pure sugar, <laughs> pure sweet. Back off, Daisy. There's an L on that boy's forehead. Bessie the cow is all attitude. Mm -hmm. What, you want some of this? Oh yeah, I didn't think so. She's a chip on her shoulder. I mean, I guess because she's a cow and all. I mean, I guess that would kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But she's very protective of Daisy. She keeps an eye on her and wants to make sure she doesn't get mixed up with the wrong crowd. Not looking. The key word, not. Work with me, not looking. Wanda Sykes is obviously the most hysterical person. She's got such attitude. See, I put hands in there for you that time, see? <laughs> Every line that comes out of her mouth just makes you laugh so hard because she's just feisty. I say let's kill it. Hand me that piece of wood over there. I'm not known to have attitude. I'm pretty uh, passive, so I don't know how I got this far. It was a stretch. It was a stretch for me. Also along for the fun is a unique hen, voiced by Andy McDowell. 
I am Etta the hen. I'm a mother hen in real life too, so. My kids will think it's a lot of fun to be able to go to the movies and have their mother be the mother hen. Don't worry. I'm sure he's headed for the meeting right now. Dad! Sit. And I'm sitting. The barnyard is protected by Otis's dad, who would like his son to take on some of the responsibility. As long as I'm still kicking, no animal will be harmed inside that fence. It's all about boundaries for Ben. You know, in anything inside the fence is Ben's responsibility. Otis, your shift tonight? I'll be there. He's on watch. He's on coyote watch, because it's kind of coyote season. Sam Elliott, he's just an amazing actor and an amazing person. And he has this crazy cool voice. A strong man stands up for himself. A stronger man stands up for others. But then on top of that, he's just, he's just so good at, at whatever he's intending to do when he's acting. When Otis is forced to take charge of the barnyard, chaos ensues. It's a madhouse. Isn't it just great? <laughs> His father he always wanted him to grow up, be a man, and handle your business, you know, as the kids say. Hey! And he's, he's not ready. He doesn't feel like he's ready to do it yet, but he has to step up to the plate and be a man and try to be the man his father was. Have you all lost your mind? It's daylight! Come on, Otis. <laughs> I know your weak spot. <laughs> Wild Mike. But Otis can't resist the call of a party, especially when the call comes from Wild Mike. <laughs> It's really Otis's weak link. I mean, if, if Wild Mike comes out, starts dancing on stage, Otis cannot hold still. He has to dance with Wild Mike. Sweet legs! Get the sweet legs! I got the sweet legs! I got the sweet legs! When you got some animal, you don't know who he is. He's going a million miles an hour and dancing faster. You know, you just want to get up and do it. It, it looks so fun. But the fun of the barnyard is threatened when the hungry coyotes show up. What do you want to be a hero? Cow. There's coyotes that are very evil. Hey, you're Ben's kid. Dag, our coyote, he's just sort of an authentically scary dude. This is the way it's gonna work. We show up, you look the other way. Otis is the defender of all within the fence, and he has to do that filling his father's hooves. A strong man stands up for himself. A stronger man stands up for others. When planning the look of the film, Odekirk had a specific visual approach. I really wanted to push the envelope of color and inviting and vibrant, uh, but all in the context of a, a real world. Like you could reach out and know what that fence feels like and what the ground feels like. We've got some really rocking to it. And the music, it just ties it all together. We need an iconic sound for the Barn Boys, which is the house band. You better hold on tight when we go hit the hay. And the North Mississippi All-Stars fit great. I mean, they're country, but they're current, and they're fun. Darling, you better run, cause I won't hold back my horses. I thought the Wu-Tang Clan was going to do the soundtrack. No Wu-Tang? Ain't that a bit? Now every heifer, every cow, hold tight to your udders now. The first song, Hitting the Hate, is like kind of a combination of like country hillbilly with like a techno dance beat. You know, and that's right up our alley. And it's so cool because they're like transforming the barn into this big party. It kind of introduces the barn boys and it's just a pumping party vibe. With high energy music, unique characters, and a universal story, Barnyard will appeal to audiences of all ages. It's not just for kids. <laughs> and to me, a great animation, it's as great for the parents as it is for the kids. And I think that's the case here. They're not gonna run for it, let's go. Oh, milk me. We got him. 
I think it's a really charming, great animated film with a good message. Oh, shoot. You know, I forgot my pen. It's a movie about taking responsibility and taking care of yourself and your community and not looking for a handout. Yeah, that's a nice thought. Is that close? There's heart and emotion, and uh, you have to have that, I think, in a, in a great film. Otis the Coyote. <laughs> Let's go. I love doing this movie. It was great. It's so amazing the way it looks, and you know, you're definitely gonna be laughing. I'm gonna go right in your ear. <laughs> At the end of the day, Barnyard's about family. Because, like in real life, you can have great things happen, you can have obstacles you have to cross. Oh, will you look at that? But when push comes to shove, they're gonna be there for each other. <laughs> That's called cow tipping. <laughs> oh, that so stings me. And that's really the story of the barnyard and all the characters of the barnyard is, it really is what makes a family. And it's usually people caring about each other. Hey, I'm in charge, right? I love the new you, Otis. Wow. Hey, that's called boy tipping. Ah!